Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in my kitchen so welcome to my kitchen and I'm excited to start a new series with you here today and I'm going to be sharing with you my monthly empties or about monthly. So for the month of October I have been collecting my little bit of Jordan Essentials items that I've used up throughout the month. So let's go ahead and jump right in and I'll share with you what our family has been using from Jordan Essentials this month. So to start off with we have the Hope Foaming Hand Soap. So this was actually sitting in my kitchen here at the sink and we just used it up so I switched back to the lemon. I like the Hope scent though, it was our new scent that came out this fall and it is lemon, lavender, and rosemary. So the whole concept of Hope was that these essential oils help with bringing that sense of well-being. Lemon is uplifting, lavender is calming, and rosemary is renewing or refreshing. So together this is a blend that was just very appropriate for this year and the challenging times we've had going on. So I thought it was a nice combination to have here in the kitchen. This is one of the sinks that gets used often for hand washing um, and preparing food and trying to get smells like onion and things off of my hands and lemon is a great one to cut through that and together the whole combination just smelled really nice and fresh for the kitchen. So. This one has been used up. Um, I've actually switched back to the lemon and we may be changing up to something else when that's gone. I haven't decided yet, but that is my first one. And secondly, it's this giant 16 ounce container of our daily conditioner. So the Jordan Essentials daily conditioner is the one that my daughter and I both use. We have naturally curly hair. We do not shampoo our hair at all. Our hair is just so naturally dry that we don't need any shampoo. So a couple of times a week, we wet our hair down really well in the shower or bath, and I just really soak our hair with our conditioner, the Jordan Essentials conditioner, and let it sit for a while while we do other things. And then when we rinse off, we rinse our hair in cold water, and that just helps to seal the cuticle and keep in a lot of the good natural botanical moisturizing elements that are in the conditioner and then it sort of acts as our leave-in conditioner and even a little bit of a styling product as well because we just naturally air dry our hair and of course if I need any extra smoothing then I'll use our hair serum or our hair gel but this is one that we go through pretty regularly this large bottle lasts us about I'd say maybe four or five months so even with us using a lot and using it a couple times a week we still don't go through it crazy fast, but um, this is one that we reorder most often. So that one got used up this month and we already have our new bottle in the shower. So we're using that. Then let's see, I'll just kind of work from one side to the other. So this is the Oatmeal Milk and Honey um, Hand and Body Lotion. So this is a little bit lighter lotion. The Oatmeal Milk and Honey scent has been my all time favorite for the last 16 years that I've ever known about Jordan Essentials and prior to the name change it was called Country Bunny Bath and Body so you may even be familiar with that name. It's a warm and cozy scent. It has a little bit of vanilla undertones but it's not quite as sweet as some of the bakery scents or just pure vanilla so that's why I really like it. I can smell the sweet almond oil in it and I think that balances it out really well. And I love this hand and body lotion. I keep one in every bathroom because it's just a nice, light, thin lotion, good all year round, but especially for my daughter who's six. So after her bath, I just do a couple of squirts on her legs and her arms and back and just helps keep her skin nice and soft and moisturized. And like I said, it's good all year round. So I tend to have one in each bathroom. Sometimes I shift out the scents seasonally, but I still love this oatmeal, milk, and honey. So we have already replaced this one in the bathroom and we are continuing to use it as we go into the fall and winter months. So that's another favorite that we used up this month. Then I have the Spritz Your Pit Spray. So this is actually an essential oil blend spray and we sell it without the Spritz Your Pits label too. It's our resistance blend and I love it because I use the Spritz Your Pits as my deodorant some days. Um, September and October are our really busy months in our family business, so I like having this around just for the days when I'm just running, running, and I don't have time to even make sure I put deodorant on, that I can give myself a few spritzes and I'm good to go, or if I need a little refresher in the afternoon, this works well too. So it's a blend of essential oils. It is cinnamon, clove, lemon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. 
Yes, I got them all right. So they all work together. They're antibacterial, antifungal, lots of other good benefits and properties. So this is a really nice one just to keep around. And if we have a lot of company over, sometimes I'll just take the Resistance Essential Oil Blend Spray and just kind of spritz the air and refresh everything and get any germs out of the way. So we're all staying healthy, which is important. And then I threw this in here just to kind of remind myself. So what I actually emptied was this, which is the concentrate of the Healthy Home Cleaning Solution. So one of these small bottles makes three of the large. And so this one has already been refilled, but I did empty my concentrate bottle to do that. So I love having this spray. I keep both of these under the kitchen sink and they work great for all surfaces. I love that I don't have to worry about my daughter getting into things like this because it's still natural and safe and healthy and non-toxic and biodegradable. Um, it's a blend that has um, tea tree oil and lavender oil. So it's just kind of a light, fresh scent. I like it because it makes the kitchen feel fresh and clean. I wipe, spray down the counters and the surfaces and wipe everything down at the end of the day or after I've done a big cooking or um, baking session. And it doesn't linger a long time. It just kind of helps the kitchen smell fresh and reset the kitchen and then I know I'm good to go. So I have been of course, keeping that on hand, and that one just continues to be in my rotation. And then I have two essential oil dropper bottles that I've emptied this month and had to reorder. So one of them is that Resistance Essential Oil Blend that I mentioned earlier. So this is just the pure essential oils in the dropper bottle, and I keep this on hand for my essential oil diffuser. You can also blend this with your um, homemade cleaners if you do DIY cleaners, which I do that sometimes too. I'll just do about a third of the bottle in vinegar, the rest in water, and then 10 to 15 drops of the Resistance Essential Oil Blend just depending on the size bottle that I'm using. And again, it's those same great five essential oils that help kill all the, all the yucky stuff so it keeps all the germs and bad things at bay. Um, it smells great. If you love cinnamon and clove, this is one of my favorite all-time scents just because it has that warm sort of holiday spice blend, but with the lemon and rosemary, it's still a little bit fresh and light too. So this one got emptied since I was using it in my diffuser quite a bit and I reordered that. And along with that is the orange essential oil dropper. So again, this is just the pure essential oil dropper. Any of these pure oils you do have to cut with something. So if you're putting it on your body, you can mix it in with a lotion or a carrier oil like jojoba oil or shea butter, um, or like I'm using these in the diffuser. So there's just a few drops going in with the distilled water. And sometimes what I like to do is just a real simple blend of orange and lemon or orange and eucalyptus. It's kind of bright and fresh and clean. Orange is a naturally uplifting scent, so I like that. We, as you know, this, this year's been challenging, so we're just finding lots of little ways to help us all feel a little bit better. Um, sometimes what I like to do is add a few drops of orange to my resistance blend that's in the diffuser. So I'll do like maybe, I think my diffuser takes 10 to 15 drops total. So I'll do maybe 10 drops of the resistance essential oil blend and then a couple of drops of orange just to kind of boost that fresh citrus scent out of the resistance blend. So those are my October empties from Jordan Essentials and I will link everything down below. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you've been using some of these products and you love them too, I'd love to hear about that. And I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. I have a fun update that we've just finished here in the kitchen. So be on the lookout for that video. And of course, my holiday prep series is already in my playlist. If you want to jump on there, it's the Fly Ladies missions for cruising through the holidays. So you can jump into those anytime. But this year especially, I'm excited and just want to get as much done as I can ahead of time so we can enjoy the holidays. So feel free to check out that as well. Thanks for joining me here today. Have a great day. Stay healthy and well wherever you are, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.